Hey guys, I'm changing a condenser fan motor on a rooftop unit today. Want to come along? Let's go! Okay, so my dad was here yesterday diagnosing this problem. Uh, so I haven't really seen what I'm up against. I have um, worked on these units before, so I know what I'm looking at, but uh, let's assess the situation first. This is the unit I'm working on, this little Lennox, and I am replacing this fan. And I'm gonna keep it real today, you guys. So <laughs> if I struggle, you guys will struggle along with me and uh, we'll get her done. All right, so I think I'm just gonna loosen these big bolts, take off this cover, and then it looks like, it looks like I just have to remove the fan motor from the belly band in there because we did get a new blade. Okay, I think I got a game plan. Let's go and grab the motor and the blade. All right, before I do anything at all, I'm going to turn this unit off. Okay, so there's a belly band on this motor. I need to get that off. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the wires, first of all, and then I'm gonna undo these bolts here and get this whole motor out and work on it on the ground. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, the fan motor's out. And now we got a great big hole. Let's see about getting this belly band off.
Okay, so the apprentice in me is a little bit stuck because I have to get the motor past that. I I'm still fighting with this thing. I don't know how to get this off because this, hmm, this doesn't go past this. And this is really what's holding me up. How do I get you out? Okay. I think get, taking these off was completely unnecessary. Okay, how do I get this guy out? Because that can open, but not much. I feel like this thing should just drop right out. Come on. Okay, I just watched some YouTubes and they were totally unhelpful because it looks like all, oh, looks like, it looks like, this little plug thing on all of the motors on that I've seen on YouTube are right here. And if mine was there, that wouldn't be a problem. So I'm gonna use some brute force and see if I can get that guy, that guy right here. Okay, let's try. Great success. All I needed was a bit of elbow grease. I wish I'd known that. But now I do, for next time. I even got the new one past this bracket, so it's proper. Okie dokie, new motor is in. Spins, oh, I'm gonna spin that way actually. Spin, spin, spins. I got my, I don't know if you can see them. There we go. Got my orange, blue, and gray wires in. And then we'll get that cover 
and then we'll see if she works. All right, great success. That's all donezo. One last thing is to replace the capacitor. And so we're gonna go in here and find it. Oh, I guess those blue wires were actually purple. <laughs> okay, cool. So here's a capacitor. I'm just gonna replace them and then we're gonna fire up. All right, we got the new capacitor in. Now it's time to test. I'm actually really nervous. Okay, now let's rock and roll. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> we might have to jump her out. Oh, actually we might have a five minute delay, so let's wait that out first. Let's see, condenser fan motor. Beautiful. Great success, you guys. You're running beautifully here. Looking good, sounding good. Oh. That was a bit of a struggle, but I got her done. And now I know very well for next time. I know very well for next time. All right, well, I'm done up here. If you are a, an HVAC professional, that was probably really painful to watch, <laughs> but I've never changed one of these specific motors before. Usually I'm highly supervised, but my dad and my brother are off on a different job today, so they sent me to do this. And great success. I mean, it maybe took me a little longer. Um, had a few more struggles that I really needed, but I got her done and I feel like a rock star. And I'm like, what else can I do? I'll take it on. <laughs> It was like seven trips up and down that ladder getting all of my gear down. Whew. All right then, <laughs> we good. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my little video and making it this far. Thank you for sticking through it. That was one of the first um, Lennox GCS 16 motors that I changed by myself. So I had a bit of a struggle as you obviously saw. My dad did the, um, did the diagnosing. We actually looked at this motor last year when it wouldn't start at the beginning of summer and we gave him a quote to replace the motor and he's like, oh my gosh, that's so expensive because we were able to get it going by flicking the blade and I guess it ran the whole season because he didn't call us back. But anyway, this year, this just last weekend, we had a bit of a heat wave and surprise, surprise, he called us the unit's not working and this time the motor is definitely dead but it costs a lot more to replace this year so <laughs> so we had to do that um but when my dad diagnosed it he noticed how rusty the shaft was on the motor so he ordered me a new blade and a new sh motor and everything which is why i didn't take off the blade which is the regular way to do it take off the blade remove the motor from the belly band you don't have to take it out of the housing although for me I found that easier to take it out. I mean, it was, what, six or eight screws. Get it out, work on it on the ground, and then put it back in. So easy. But anyway, that's not how it is supposed to be done. Um, but if I may say, everybody has their own ways of doing things. And what I will say, like a little disclaimer, is that 
this video and my videos while I am an apprentice, they're not educational, they're not instructional. I'm not showing you how to replace a motor. Although I feel like if somebody is watching this video and has maybe the same struggles as me, they, they might find this video helpful. Although that's not my intention. Uh, once I'm fully qualified, then I'll, I'll have a bit more credibility behind me and then I'll be able to do sort of how-to instructional educational videos. But for now, you guys, they're totally for entertainment purposes. And maybe they're a little bit cringy or you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she just did that. But I'm learning and I'm learning every day and I'm going to be better for it. I'm going to be a better tech. So stick with me. <laughs> it's going to get better. And also thank you again for watching my videos. And a final comment, when I was watching that video back, I realized that I really should not have put that, that the new fan and the new blade upside down, or like leaning onto the roof. I, sh I know I shouldn't have done that. When I was watching the video back, I was like, oh no, what was I doing? So you live and learn. And I guess maybe that's also why it's cool to take these videos of yourself working. You can watch them back later and you're like, why did I do that? Don't do that again. You learn from your own mistakes. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.